Scorpios hi guys how are you guys doing today it's the girl your girl the scene tarot and we're gonna do two videos today I'm gonna do an energy poll and also I'm gonna do the next 48 so first we're gonna do the next 48 if that resonates with you go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT but if it doesn't resonate you guys I will have the playlist linked below in the description box also, you guys, if you want to book a personal with me, all the information should be in the description. How to get in touch with me. I did post the packages for October 22nd because the packages that I sent out earlier this month, since I sent it out late, I extended it to this month of the 21st. That's the expiration on the 21st. So the packages that I posted on the wall is the new packages for the month of um, this month, the ha the rest of this month, which is the 22nd of October, then into November, okay? So, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Happy birthday. Early birthday to y'all, okay? <laughs> if I forget. And to me, too. My birthday's on the 17th. It seems like this year just went by so quick. I just can't believe it. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to the month, you know, it's just so crazy, but comment below when is your birthday, Scorpios, I would love to know, and let's just tap into the next 48, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, the Hermit, you guys are on a journey here in the next 48, I feel like at least you're feeling pulled to spirit. Let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see energy for the next 48 for Scorpios. Ooh. Scorpios energy in the next 48. A lot of you are on a right path. This is what I'm seeing. Like, you know, a lot of stability, a lot of victory. Like, you just want to be making the right decisions from this point on. I feel like a lot of you have been stuck into something and now you're just like this light bulb went off for you and you're like, you know what? Enough is enough of this. I'm going to go towards my victory, towards my success, working on me, um, whatever goals I have set for myself. I'm not going to. Yeah, you're going to still help others, but I just feel like you're entwined with helping yourself now. You know, yeah, you've been a queen of wands for quite a while and now you're like, you know what? I'm going to try to help me here. I'm going to try nurturing my soul. I'm going to try to see what I like, what Scorpio is about, you know, really just better myself because look, you've been like going through a lot, going back and forth with someone here. And I feel like whoever this is, it's like they're coming back, even though you are changing. This is what I'm hearing. You are changing, Scorps. You're changing and this person is like coming back or trying to apologize here or trying to offer you some kind of friendship. This is what I'm seeing here. But I feel like the friendship is morally to get back into your good graces. To kind of sneak back into your life. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. For Scorpio. Okay. Your intuition is picking this up. Scorpio. Next 48. Scorpio next 48, Holy Spirit, Holy Father, Holy Angels for Scorpio. Next 48. Ooh, something fell. Okay, ooh, one at a time. Let me just get this card real quick and see what we got. See what we got for you. The page of the swords. A lot of jealousy here. I'm seeing a lot of people coming in, a lot of jealousy. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel like your intuition, let's just let's talk about this one right here because I have the page of cups, the moon energy, and I'm also having the, the knight of cups in reverse. So I feel like this person wants a second chance for this to even be here. But they're saying that, you know what, they're gonna keep that to themselves. Like, just like I expected, that this person doesn't want to be friends, but for some reason they're offering some kind of friendship um, because they feel like better with that situation. And I'm also getting that a lot of things that have happened in this connection, your intuition has picked this up. It's like you were late, you picked this up 
it's like you stayed with it. You were starting to ask him the white right questions. This is what I'm seeing. Like you were like seeing all the clues and just like really trusting your intuition. So I feel like within this energy, within the moon, Pisces energy, for those of you who are with a Pisces or a Virgo, those are major arcanas. But I feel like with that energy, like you are definitely okay at this point when it comes to this energy. Like you're on the right track. I'm also seeing lies here being confirmed too. I'm seeing some forms of jealousy with this person energy. Okay. Like the lies that I'm seeing that I'm picking up, you haven't no, like you don't he like have the confirmation from them yet, Scorpios. All right, tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. Yeah, this is an incompletion. Some of you could be separated as well from this energy. Wow, I'm getting a whole bunch of messages at once. I'm getting Pisces twice. Pisces twice. This person is showing up as someone that is not going to say that they are wrong within this situation. I feel like you be you you were pulled out of this situation just in time. This is what I'm hearing. Or um, you had this confirmation, or you had this message, or intuition, or this vision just in time. I'm also seeing the King of Cups here. This person do care about you a lot, but I feel like they're keeping you restricted or making you feel trapped or trying to work on your self-esteem. Something about this person is like, um, they want you to trust them and be able to tell them everything emotionally, but I just feel like they're holding something from you. They're making you, your vibration very low. You know, I'm seeing like you're feeling like you're tied up, like you can't get out of this situation. And for some of you, you know this person for a very long time, maybe childhood or childhood sweethearts or some kind of friendship that goes way back. This is what I'm seeing here. 20 years, 21 years for some of y'all. I'm just seeing like a closeness here and you're trying to break free, but you can't. Something about this connection. I'm seeing deep like depth as well tell me more tell me more for Scorpio next 48 all right yeah this person is returning and we have the chariot here we also have the nine of pentacles so you guys been through a lot together I'm also seeing like a lot of you could have built some kind of foundation that you lost like, so a lot of you maybe had a breakup or something like that, but I'm seeing like this person or some time apart because this person is returning. Okay. And a lot of you felt this within your intuition because I'm getting like the moon energy right beside it as well. Squirts. This is a lot. I always feel like y'all have deep energies, but this was on balance. You know, this person is not an emotional person. At least they don't show you that. They don't tell you how they don't tell you how they feel when it's really necessary. I feel like this person tells you what, what they feel when they're in trouble. I'm also seeing the sun here. So Leo energy is also coming out. Cancer energy for those of you with a cancer. I'm also seeing the ace of wands in reverse. There's a huge delay of movement. So <laughs> I'm just getting like this relationship is standby. Something about this relationship is standby. I'm also seeing the Seven of Cups as well. Like there is a lot of, tr you know, transitions here. And this person is very overwhelmed. So this person, um, for some of you, they have been unfaithful or they have other people that are, you know, having feelings for them. Something about this is just not right. I'm also seeing the Two of Cups in reverse and the Well card. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy for those of you. Who are with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces because Pisces keep coming up. Now I'm getting Scorpio and um oh Cancer Pisces. Now I'm getting Scorpio. Okay, so this person still look at you as someone they want to reunite with, somebody that they have feelings for as well. And I'm getting some kind of contract here. A lot of you could be married to this person, you know, in separation. Because I'm seeing like it goes way back way back but you have learned from this within the well you have learned from this within the well all right tell me more holy spirit the 11 11 is in reverse so 
So there's a lot of conflict within your foundation. It's like, yes, the lessons, you know, when you guys are together, whatever is going on right now, you feel like you have learned what you needed to learn from each other, like you've been transformed. This is another energy of yours, um, Scorpio, because this is the well, water-based. It's deep. It has depth. It's just so many things happening that people don't know about, but I feel like you are willing to do what needs to be done to actually explore this so you can heal. I'm also seeing like you're walking around eggshells right now, wondering if you guys are together or not. Somebody is walking around eggshells. These cards are flipping. They want to come out. Tell me more to Scorpio. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? All right, so you have the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords. Wow, I don't like these threes now. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I didn't even get a chance to even... They're just coming out. Okay. All right, so... I'm getting Gemini in Virgo. For those of you that are with a Gemini in Virgo, I feel like this person doesn't know what to do with you. This is another energy that I'm feeling like this person has no clue. Like they're still learning. They're coming off quite young from the pages, from the Knights energy. I'm getting some kind of heartbreak that was in the past here. And I'm also getting some kind of prayer manifestation. I feel like, you know... And this says Gemini Virgo for those of you. So this person is just like praying you back, manifesting, working on this three of swords, want to celebrate. They want to, you know, just forget and just move forward, you know, with this energy. This is what I'm picking up. This is a little dark, ain't it? Let me just tap y'all, try to get y'all in a little lighter situation i hope that seems like it's not even better but it is what it is <laughs> all right um yeah this person is like having issues like how to make you feel stable here i'm also seeing a, a conversation coming up and it's kind of like you know all this embarrassment that they have put you through the five of swords they want to talk about that they had a choice to make and they made the wrong call here so let me just tap this up because it's dark y'all that's a little better right so i'm just gonna tap into this person's energy right away right let's see what's going on here let's because let's see what's what all right holy spirit what's going on for scorpio and this person in the next four eight See what we have here scorpio in this person so what's this person want scorpio to know holy spirit what is this person's energy so low what does this person want scorpio to know what is their side things holy spirit holy angels holy father what's going on with this energy that's coming out so they want to let you know that they have learned Ooh. They have learned and they want to just resolve whatever is going on between you and them. Whatever friction this is, they want to, you know, um, just resolve it. But I am seeing this Knight of, Cu Knight of uh, Cups here where they're just like really cautious about telling you or sharing with you how they feel. But they do have a breakthrough here. So it's not what it seems. This person could appear very cold, like they don't have any feelings. But I feel like... They do want to move forward. Tell me more. Yeah, this is about the seven, of, the seven of Cups. So they're bringing that up. This person been unfaithful. Okay, they didn't give you the right... The clarity that you needed. They were highly jealous of you. And they still are, you know? I don't know how you could be with somebody or be around somebody and have a life with someone that you're jealous of. But this is what I'm seeing here. And then you have the Knight of Wands. So they're coming up as pages again in Knights. This is what I'm seeing. And this person is like, I'm just getting like, they're very, they feel like you're going to reject them. So I'm seeing like there is like a delay here when it comes to movement. Like they're thinking about things and they want to do things, but there's not much movement here. 
Tell me more. Tell me more. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Height, the Hermit. Tell me more. Ooh. Wow. Contract be confirmed. This person is returning. This person is from your past. You guys have unfinished business. They can't stop thinking about you. That's what I'm getting here. They're being pulled to spirit. You know, they affect you mentally. This is what I'm getting here. And again, you know, they don't know what to do with the stability, what making you feel safe and secure. I'm just getting like they don't know what to do here. Tell me more. Scorpio. There's a lot of immaturity with this person. Another form of energy that they're just not making any movement. But I feel like they're doing a lot of healing and they're trying to like let a lot of things go when it comes to them with being depressed and really second guessing themselves and i'm not trying to stand up for this person whatsoever these are what the cards are saying here and they're trying to like let everything go i'm also feeling like they're being taught something with their intuition um i feel like this person kept a lot of secrets from you you knew you didn't know a lot about this person like you thought you knew but you didn't Okay, let's see. Ooh, tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing the devil. Look at this, the death, Scorpio energy. One at a time, Holy Spirit. These cards just want to come out, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they're bringing up the Five of Swords. Oh my God. The Five of Swords energy. But I just feel like the Five of Swords with them is giving me vibes like they're still learning this is what i'm getting like they're not even in reverse like whatever deceit or embarrassment they have put you through i'm seeing like you know the conflict and the fighting they do want that to stop but this person have the tendency to do it again and i'm also seeing the five of cups i haven't seen this card in a minute so i feel like they stripped you from your from you you know i feel like you gave this person everything that you could I feel like this person just didn't, couldn't make you get close to them for some reason, emotionally. Let's see. So the two of wands. I'm a two of wands. I saw that before. But the nine of wands. And the ten of wands. There's a lot of history between you guys. A lot of history. But you see these two cards, it's in the upright, y'all. So you guys are definitely holding on to this. Like this person is, but they're telling me more than that. They're telling me that, you know, because these both cards represent, you know, both. Both persons here for me. And it's like you both are fighting for this connection, protecting each other, you know, defending each other. You know, there's a lot of burden, a lot of heaviness with this energy. But at the same time, you're still holding this up. You're still holding this up. I am also hearing toxic as well. Look at this. What's important is the contract here that you guys have going on. It could be a child, a business, even a life contract between each other. Because I do see the Six of Cups. I saw the Two of Cups earlier. The Ten of Pentacles now. So we more Holy Spirit. I feel like you guys just have differences. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Ooh, they kept you. They kept you in the dark. They kept lying to you. This is the past. But it's something to do with your self-esteem that they kind of messed up here. I'm also not kind of did because you're still in, in the upright. Like you're still stuck. I'm also seeing the emperor here as well energy i'm seeing a lot of manip manipulation behind this and they want to apologize so i'm also seeing like there's a break between you and this person a lot of you are not talking to this person because they're bringing up a break but there's an apology because they want to work on their on their foundation their legacy their home 
it's something to do with their home a lot of you could be married or have a family or live together this person messed up this person stayed away because the three of swords this is in some form of like you guys been separated for a while and it's, it's like i'm seeing like it has to be healing here and then i'm seeing the sun in leo the star and the victory Woo. wow they want to be happy with you look at that they're waiting for the right time for everything to happen and i'm also seeing like they look at you as a six of wands the sun they make you make them smile let me just clear this up and see what this person's feelings is for you and what they're planning to do. Let me pull some articles and get back. I'm about to pause. I was supposed to pause this video and I realized that I stopped it to clear up. <laughs> My gosh. All right, y'all. So let's just tap into this person. Oh, okay. That's fine. Y'all, I'm ghetto on this channel. I thought the, um, the lighting was off, but it's okay. All right, so let's just see what, how this person feels for you. Holy Spirit, what's this person's energy towards Scorpio? What's this person's energy towards Scorpio? What's this person's energy towards Scorpio? This person's energy towards Scorpio. Wow. Okay, they don't know what to do. It's like, wow, and they have your energy too. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but they're saying like, they feel like you you went through a lot and you learned from a lot and you're moving on with your life. Like you're not holding on to any tra kind of transitions. This is what I'm seeing. And I feel like they love you. Like they love you from the first time they seen you. They felt like you were guided between each other, like you met at the perfect time. But something about this person that is not ready, and I feel like this person doesn't have it. I feel like they're kind of like showing off just to be with you or trying to make you feel like they have something that you need. I feel like this person just lied about their character. Something about this person's energy, y'all. It's just they cannot give you what you need financially this is what i'm getting and look at this you it's like look at this the nine of wands it's like they're still fighting for this but they have to heal something about healing too so this temperance energy i just feel like this person needs time as well because they feel like they're waiting for the right time their angel is present by the way, okay? Let me just see what your energy is, Scorps. All right, what's Scorpio energy here? What's Scorpio energy. Okay. Scorpio energy. Okay. Ooh, you got the mermaid soul. <laughs> Oh, uh, and I feel like a lot of you are just happy about this new beginning. I'm hearing you moving on or about to shine. Like you're shining, like you're shining bright. Look at you. Butterfly. That is your energy, Scorpio. Like you're transformed from this energy. I'm seeing that you're ready for love. You know, the mermaid soul. It's like you just think that everything is just supposed to be perfect. And... When it comes to love, when it comes to your career, when it comes to so many things within your life. And I feel like, you know, this energy could also be like, I'm not going to settle, which is fine. And you shouldn't settle for anything. But you should also be realistic and know that things are not as perfect all the time, right? Um, so just keep an open mind for that. Oh, wait, let me just, oh my God, these cars want to come out for you. What's going on with Scorpio today? I just want to tap into some energy. Holy Spirit, only angels, one at a time, please, for Scorpio. Nice 48. What's the energy for this energy? Okay. <laughs> Promises. Addiction. 
family. And I kind of felt like something was going on with that. But this family card keep coming up. A lot of you are at the 10 level right now. There's going to be a new beginning here. A lot of you are dealing with someone that could be a Capricorn as well. Someone that is dealing with a lot of bad behavior, blah, blood, a lot of tra a turmoil, a lot of trauma, a lot of drama in their lives. And they're bringing it upon your life. I feel like this person still looks at you as the Nine of Cups, you know, made a lot of promises to you, maybe made vows to you as well. A lot of you could be married and you're still waiting for this person to actually prove you wrong, right? Because right now I just feel like you're losing a lot of hope for this foundation. This is crazy how family and then foundation come up with this promises right here. It's crazy. I don't know if you could see it. It says family and then right here it says foundation. This person is pushing you away too. Something about pushing you away in the devil. With this energy. But I feel like you want to work things out with this person. You just want to work things out. Okay, so let me see what your energy is for this person. Scorps. Okay, I'm going to do an energy pull. So you might want to check that out. Right after this, okay? All right, what's the energy for Scorpio when it comes to this person, please, Holy Spirit? In the next 48, for Scorpio's energy, in the next 48. Okay. Ooh, you are forgiving this person. I feel like, look, it's crazy because you're willing to work something out with this person. You're willing to work something out. You have forgiven this person, but you are going solo for now. I feel like, you know what, this person had a choice and they made the wrong decision here. This is what you're saying. Like, you missed a lot of opportunities because of this person. And you don't want to do that again. So I'm seeing like you're going solo, you're traveling, you're saving your money, you're working. You're trying to build up your independence and try to work on your, you know, this eight. Because this eight, this person affects you mentally this person you know lied to you make you self doubt yourself make you feel like you the universe will play tricks on you this is what i'm getting you were blindfolded to all this i feel like i feel like you were so busy with things scorpio like you didn't see what was happening because we have the moon card and i felt like the angels kind of like told you or showed you signs like this person was keeping secrets and I'm also seeing a lot of you could be married to this person in high for Taurus energy for those of you with a Taurus. But I'm seeing like, oh, you are just moving on caution, like taking your time. You're not in no rush. This is what I'm getting. Okay, so let me just tap into the animal energy for Scorpio for the next 48. For Scorpio for the next 48. The Scorpio's energy for the next 48. Let's see. All right. Look at that. I'm seeing an ending for you. But with an ending, Scorpio, there's a new beginning. So there's a transformation energy happening here. Tell me more. Wow. You're going to be receiving a lot of messages. I feel like a lot of you are in this energy of like Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Like you're trying to be free, Scorpio. Like you're trying to tap into that. A lot of you might be around a lot of Geminis. Um, Libra, Scorpio energy. Not Scorpio. What am I saying? Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Try to be free. Try to travel. And I'm seeing that too with this Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to like do things that you haven't done in a while. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. You're trying to see the world in a different light. You're trying to explore. Explore. I'm seeing that you are very, like, you're a loyal person. And that is Scorpio's energy. Very loyal. Like, you gave this person everything. And there was a lot of backlash. There was a lot of noise here. With this possum energy that I'm seeing communication is coming up. So a lot of this energy that I'm picking up is like things happen and nobody knows what is what. They're like hearing things from here and here and there. And I feel like everything is going to be sorted out soon enough within this rooster energy communication. 
but this is what i have for the next 48 i'm going to tap into your energy and see what we have so you might want to go over there y'all and check it out but if this part of the video does resonate for you go ahead and tap the like button for me you know like this video give me about 500 likes if you know if this video do make it into your feeds comment below trust you know support each other do what y'all do scorpio and happy early birthday you know it's crazy that you know but it's a blessing that we made it to another birthday for those of you um early birthdays it's not yet because we're still early in the month but it's soon be it's soon be very soon in a couple days right but anyways y'all love y'all and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys